Hello, CA Hoops fans, and welcome to another edition of CA Hoops Weekly, presented by GEICO. I'm your host, Bobby Broyles, joined as always by Rob Washburn. At the close of Wednesday's action, the standings took another twist Wednesday night in Williamsburg as a shorthanded Delaware squad showed some resiliency on the road and was able to come away with a big win over William & Mary. And Rob, the Blue Hens have now clearly separated themselves in the league race. Yeah, as good as Delaware has been during this nine-game winning streak, it may have turned in its most impressive performance last night by picking up an 89-72 victory over a strong William & Mary team that was playing before an energized home crowd. Now, the University of Delaware announced earlier on Wednesday that starters Jar Jarvis Threat and Marvin King Davis would be suspended for a month due to violations of athletic department policy, but that just seemed to be, provide added motivation for the Blue Hens, who built a 42-18 advantage late in the first half and held on from there. Davon Usher drained 6 of 9 from 3-point range, poured in a game-high 28 points. Carl Baptiste scored a career-best 23 points on 9 of 11 shooting, and Devon Sather controlled the game from the point with 19 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds, and 4 steals. Delaware is off to a 7-0 start for the first time ever in the CA and holds a two-and-a-half game lead over second place Towson as we near the midpoint of the league schedule. They're going to be very tough to track down with the way they're playing on both ends of the floor. And a couple notes on Delaware, Rob. They finish perfect in the month of January, and also Devon Sadler is five points away. We'll probably break it this weekend for career point number 2,000 in his career. Very impressive All by right. the senior. Delaware now returns home to take on UNCW Saturday at noon on Comcast Sportsnet. And as for William & Mary, the Tribe will hit the road to take on in-state rival James Madison as part of a weekend doubleheader on NBC Sports Network. Rob, this is the first time we've gotten to talk about the defending CAA champion Dukes, who have now won two in a row. Well, Bobby, this is definitely a much different JMU team than the one we saw cut down the nets at the Richmond Coliseum last March. They're one of the youngest teams in the country, and they took some lumps as they played most of their non-conference schedule on the road. However, things are starting to come together as they're riding the momentum from back-to-back -back close wins over College of Charleston and Northeastern. Andre Nations returned to the lineup after an early season suspension. He's averaging a team-high 16 points per game, and the Dukes are also getting strong play from their other sophomore backcourt players, Charles Cook and Ron Curry. Now, these two longtime rivals met just a couple of weeks ago in Williamsburg, and the Tribe shot a blistering 70% in the first half, cruised to a 78-56 victory. Marcus Thornton, who's having just a tremendous year, scored a team-high 20 points in the first matchup, and the Dukes are going to need to figure out some way to keep him under control. The Tribe also out-rebounded JMU by 11 in that contest, and that stat could be an important one once again. Now, statistically, this is a matchup between one of the league's top offensive teams and one of the conference's best defensive teams. Sort of a similar setup to that other big game that people are interested in following on Sunday. Absolutely. The tip is set for 2.30, folks, so have your Super Bowl chips and dip already ready early so you can catch this one. We'll backtrack here to Saturday as the other half of our NBC Sports Network doubleheader features Drexel making the short trip down I-95 to take on Towson at 4.30. Yeah, interestingly, both Drexel and Towson are coming off victories over Hofstra this week that snapped two-game losing streaks. Now, the Dragons got an unbelievable effort from senior guard Franz Massonette last night as he scored a career-high 32 points, dished out nine assists, and didn't commit a turnover in a 77-74 victory over the Pride. He and Chris Fouch, who added 19 points against the Pride, continue to carry the Dragons. But they're starting to get a little bit healthier. There's Tavon Allen, Darte Ruffin, and Kasembe Abif were all back on the court last night. Now, Towson, they had five players score in double figures as they beat Hofstra 76-58 last Monday. Mike Burwell paced the Tigers with 17 points. Jarrell Benneman recorded his nation's best 14th double-double with 15 points and 10 rebounds. Towson continues to just pound people on the glass, out rebounding the pride 47-26. Now, these two teams met in Philly in mid-January. Towson shot 55% from the floor, picked up an 80-68 to win. Benjamin contributed 27 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists in that one. Marcus Damas added 26 to offset a combined 49 points from Massanet and Fouch. Now, Drexel didn't shoot the ball well in the first meeting and will need to improve in that area. But this is a big game for two teams that play tough physical styles. One other note that I wanted to bring up on that game, it will be Autism Awareness Day as mm -hmm. Tigers head coach Pat Scary and many other coaches around the country will be bringing attention to this very important cause. Well, it should be a good one on the NBC Sports Network. Lots of CAA hoops on the tube this week. And for you out-of-market viewers looking to catch that Saturday game between Delaware and UNCW, we'll also feature a live simulcast of that contest on CA.TV. Now here's a look at the rest of this weekend's action around CAA men's basketball.
Turning our attention to women's hoops now, the big question at this point, Rob, is who can knock off the Jamie Dukes because they are rolling right now. But as Lee Corso says, <laughs> not so fast, my friend. The new kids on the block, the Cougars of College of Charleston, come to town this weekend, and Rob, they put up some huge numbers this season. Yeah, College of Charleston hasn't wasted any time making an impact in the CA, sitting in third place in the league with a 4-2 and two record. The Cougars have done it with a powerful offensive attack. They put 101 points on the board against William and Mary and 90 on the board at Northeastern. But they also have shown ability to have success in low end scoring contests when they knocked off Delaware 68-66 last Sunday. Now, this is a team with great balance. There's five different players have topped the team in scoring over the fast, past five games led by Alfreya, Tolbert, and Alyssa Fry. But there's only one way to describe JMU at this point, and that word is dominant. They have won their first five CA games by an average of more than 26 points. They've scored 74 or more points in four of their five league games, and they haven't given up over 57 points to a conference opponent. We all know how good their backcourt is with Kirby Burkholder and Precious Hall, but last week it was Jasmine Guafme who stepped up. Mm -hmm. A team high 17 points at UNCW, which was her third straight game in double digits. It'll be a great challenge for the Cougars to win in Harrisonburg. You can catch this one live Friday night on Madison Sportsnet HD with tip-off set for 7 o'clock. Then on Sunday at 2, it'll be two teams sitting in the middle of the league standings as Delaware visits Towson. Rob, both of these programs now have an opportunity to put themselves in the top half of the league race. So a very important game here for both the Blue Hens and the Tigers on Sunday. Yeah, Towson's been a tough team to figure this season. The Tigers had victories over Northeastern and College of Charleston and gave JMU by far its toughest test before falling by only five points. But they also have a couple of losses to the two teams in the bottom half of the standings. One thing that isn't hard to figure with the Tigers is that Tanisha McTiller is having a tremendous season. Mm -hmm. The Tigers guard has topped the 20-point mark in four of her last five games and averaged a league-best 21 points per game in CA play. Now, Delaware has dropped three of its last four after a 2-0 start. They nearly made a huge comeback last Sunday at Charleston, overcoming a 22-point halftime deficit before falling by two. The Blue Hens' youth is a big reason for their inconsistency, but they're getting great leadership from center Kelsey Buchanan, who's recorded four double-doubles in her past six games, and is second in the league in scoring and rebound. But before getting to Towson, Delaware has a tough test against Northeastern on Thursday. That's right, Rob, and you can catch the Huskies and the Blue Hens tonight at 7 on several Comcast Sportsnet outlets and a live simulcast on CAA.TV for you out-of-market viewers. Now here's a look at the rest of this weekend's action around CAA women's basketball. Don't miss any of this week's action, fans. Remember, you can follow all the games on our game day page on casports.com, which features links to live stats and audio and video streaming for our games on both the men's and women's sides. You can, you can also continue to follow the leg on our many social media outlets, including facebook.com slash casports and on Twitter at casbasketball using the hashtag cahoops. And be sure to check us out on Instagram by searching casports. Don't forget that last week, CA Hoops was on the campus of Drexel University, where we caught up with Dragon's six-year senior Chris Fouch for our In Focus feature. If you haven't checked out our coverage, find it now on CA.TV and CAMensHoops.wordpress.com. Rob, it's been a long journey for Fouch, but we've both watched him over the course of his career, and he's definitely one of the more resilient players we've seen. And, man, can he shoot the basketball. Yeah, Chris Fouch is going to finish his career as one of the top three-point shooters and scorers in Drexel history. But what a long road it's been for him to get there. Another excellent piece from Alex Souza as he chronicles all the injuries and hardships that Chris has overcome. And right now, he's on this pace to have his best season ever. Definitely congratulations to Chris and an amazing career he has had at Drexel. See Hoops will be back on campus this week as Alex Souza and I will be heading to Towson. Stay tuned to casports.com and our official CA Hoop Scoop and Baseline Buzz blogs for highlights, analysis, and next week in focus feature on the Tigers. Wait a minute. They're letting you off the set? Let putting you on the road? They, they got to let me out eventually, Rob. I mean, I can't just be cooped up in here forever. So for Mr. Washburn, I'm Bobby Broyles. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Thursday. Enjoy the games this weekend, everyone. Day one, our mission has been March. Those four days in Baltimore are the reason for every rep, every sprint, every shot. Every time we step on the court, we dream of stepping on that ladder, cutting down those nets, raising that trophy. In the CAA Men's Basketball Championship, 
anything can happen. So turn up the music. It's time to dance. For more information, visit caasports.com. Order tickets at Ticketmaster.com. 